the South African side playing towards the War Memorial End, which Ulster will do in the second half, which always suits them. Well taken in by Michael Lowry. Inside, yes. Hand out for a penalty to Ulster. Chance for opening points. Well away by Stewart. Wonderfully done by Lowry. He's got Balakoon with him. Balakoon puts the foot down. They're not going to get Rob Balakoon. Two and a half minutes gone. And welcome back to representative rugby to Rob Balakoon. Magic again to get away to Balakoon. How did he do that? He nearly fell down and he's kicked it away. And Austin would be glad that uh, the little fullback didn't run. But here comes the winger. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Surely they must get in. Arenzi's going to score. And Ulster completely opened up by some wonderful play and wonderful vision. And a little bit of a fortuitous bounce, but nonetheless. <laughs> and again, the Stuart Carter axis works. Hands up, hands up, Stuart's hands in at the back. Right the wing, seven the wing. Here they go, here goes Stuart. He's got it down again. He can't stop scoring tries, Ulster's new 22-year-old hooker. Get up! Cussedly and determinedly. Once again, it's the Bulls for the line. Fuck, yes, and once fuck, again, fuck. they're repulsed. Probelar waits. Ulster really doing their best to keep them out. There's a drive, and that must be the try. It's over. Rounded and pushed back. And they've got it. They need just to straighten it and apply a secondary shove. Stewart tucked into the back. This could be the, the third time this season that he scored a couple of tries in one game. Ulster still moving, Stewart still in control. One last shove might just do it. Here they go. Stewart, can he get it down? He can! He's done it again, Stewart! Ulster won't care about that. They want to get across that line. Kieran Treadwell, lovely sidestep off the left, off the right leg. Lovely play by Ulster. They're so close. Surely they must get across. Doak has a bit of a go himself. Lee, somebody Lee, needs to play Lee, scrum Lee. half. It's back on the Ulster side. Stewart looking for a third. I think he may well have got it done. They're going to have a look at it. I'm concerned. Have a look again. He turned round and yeah, okay, he placed the ball the down. Post, but from the view on this That's camera, nicely done. He, he lands after the tackle. It looks like one motion over to score the try. I'm happy with he that. He lands mid, after yes, the definitely. tackle. And this is Chris Smith directly in front of the uh, Ulster post. Doesn't miss him from there. Nicely struck by Smith. So what a game we have. What a finish we have in prospect. John Cooney just to put the tin hat on the whole evening and give Ulster the five-point win they needed. Cooney, oh, that's a gem by John Cooney. What a lovely kick by Ulster's replacement outside half. And the referee, as he decided there's a little bit of time to be played, I'm not sure that there is. He can't quite make up his mind. Oh, he has made up his mind, and he's blown for no side. And Ulster, eight points down at the interval, have come back, and they've won this one by 32 points to 23. Tony McWhorter. Yeah, it's a huge result, Jim, for Ulster, both in context of this evening. And